Hey y'all, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make two really easy and really cute spring crafts. So stay tuned and I'm going to show you how to make both of them. All right, so what do I have here? I have these tumbling tower blocks. This is the tumbling tower game. This is from Dollar Tree. And yeah, this was the big box here. The big box was at my store. Now the big box, even though it shows on the package here that it's all the light colors, really pay attention to the inside of the box. Because as you can see, these alternated with the dark and the light blocks. And that is really good for what I'm doing here because then I don't even have to paint it, okay? We can just stay with the dark blocks. So for these blocks, as you can see, I have five going this way, five going this way, and then we're going to glue them together to make the base of our little, our little doohiggy here. Now, if you want to use um, wood glue, use wood glue by all means. But for the purpose of this video, I'm just using hot glue, okay? So like I said, just glue them five across, five across, and then we're going to glue it together to make the bottom. Okay, now that you have five across and five across, we are going to glue the both of these together. And I'm not really too concerned if just a little bit of the hot glue kind of oozes out here, because like I said, this is going to be the bottom, so you're really not going to be seeing that anyway. If somebody picks up the crafts in your house and looks at it and picks it you know what? You need to smack them and send them on back home. They don't need to be in your house. So now what we're going to do is take more of the dark ones and let's glue them. Oh, look at the glue string. It's on me. Glue them across the bottom here, okay? So I'm just going to put a little bit here, and we're going to stand them up on the short end like this, okay? Now, with this, uh, I just have a piece of <laughs> cardboard here. If a little bit of the glue comes out, then yeah, you can uh, wipe that off. I put a little too much. I did. I put a little too much. So just be careful with the glue that you're putting on here. And look at your blocks here, because some of these have scuffs on them. And I'm trying to do this to be like a quick and easy craft, you know, that you don't have to paint or anything, you know. So that's what I'm trying to use. Let's see, that looks good. I'm trying to use the dark colored ones here. You can glue them together like so, because I want to put a ribbon around it. And that's going to hold everything together. But listen, and or maybe some twine. I think some twine might look good. And you're going to see what I'm talking about here in a minute. Um... If you want to, you can glue them side by side like this and then glue it down. I'm I'm not really going to mess with all that because, like I said, I'm going to be putting something around it. And it's pretty much going to hold everything together anyway. So I'm not too concerned about that. But if that's what you want to do, then go ahead and do that. But I'm going to glue these upright across here and across here. Okay, so we got them glued across on these short ends here. And now we're going to glue them here, and it will take five going this way, okay? So you see on the on the short ends, you see I'm talking about how these are laid out long ways like this, and then um, like so, oh, that was crooked. I can fix it, no problem. Now we're going down the long way here, and once again, it's going to take five. And it's going to be a snug fit, okay? It's going to be a snug fit. So just kind of press it right up against that other one. I'm just going to hold that in place, wipe off that excess glue that kind of oozed forward there. And then we're going to go down this side and this side, just like we did with the other blocks. But like I said, it's going to hold five. Okay, so here is our little box. And I was thinking about wrapping some twine or some ribbon or something around it. But, you know, I was playing around with these little bunnies. And maybe, I don't think I will. I don't think I will. Let's turn this up on its side. Now, these are going to be fragile until you get these bunnies on. Because these bunnies are kind of like just going to hold everything together, okay? So let's put these side by side and see exactly how wide they're going to be across this so the, the the middle point here let's line that up with the tail on this this bunny here so now let's glue this down to there and so i'm not going to press too hard on it because i don't want it to fall apart and then we shall glue the other bunnies on either side right there okay is that straight i think it is you want to kind of be flush with the bottom here so that your box doesn't wobble wobble everywhere when you're trying to set it up. Oops, I put a little bit too much glue on that one. You see that? It was a big old blob. Okay. Let's see, is that okay? I think that's okay. So now I'm just going to let that glue set up. Okay, so now I have the three bunnies on this side 
and the three bunnies on this side. See, and our blocks are running long ways like this. So now we're going to flip it up. You see, these are the short ends here. Now, three bunnies are not going to fit here, so we're just going to have to do two. I've got glue on my hand. Uh-oh, let's see how we space these. That looks okay. Okay, I'm glue that one down. And then, look at this. Oh my goodness. I got a big old blob on my hand. And then glue this one down. And then flip it over and glue two bunnies on the other end. Alright, so I've got bunnies on all sides of my little box here. And now I have this moss. This is just some decorative moss from Dollar Tree. Open that up. And let's see, I don't want the pine cone there. Oh, stop! So I'm going to put it over there. All right. Then we're just going to scoop this out. And I'll clean all this up when I'm done. I know, it's messy. It's messy. I'm a messy crafter. <laughs> it's okay, we'll just all clean it all up later. All right. And now we have some of these little carrots. And of course, these carrots came from Dollar Tree as well just open those up and i'm just going to just stick them down in the moss i'm not even going to glue them a lot of people ask me what do you do with all the crafts that you make if i have like everything glued down and stuff a lot of times i'll just give it away um or like this when i'm done with it i could just take it apart take the carrots back out put the carrots back in the bag Put the moss back in the bag and I'll use it for another craft so I can make a bunch of videos and not spend a lot of money, okay? But anyway, this is cute and I'm going to leave it just like this. It's just a cute little something to set on the table for Easter. All right, so let's move on to the next one. Still got glue all over my hands. Anyway, we need one of these, the egg wreath form from Dollar Tree. This is going to be relatively simple, but I think it'll be pretty cute. Now we're going to need some rope. This is the nautical rope from Dollar Tree. It's like my, my thoughts just went away there for a minute. I'm like, what am I saying? Huh? <laughs> anyway, the nautical rope from Dollar Tree. This is an eight-foot package. Um, I've seen so many different packages in the stores. They all vary in length. I don't know what's going on with Dollar Tree. Could just be the ones that I go to. I don't know. But anyway, let's open this up. So now I've got this opened up. And yes, I pulled the tape off of the end there. But anyway, let's see. I want to start... Let's see, right where I want the bottom of my basket to be. I say right about here looks good yeah that looks good to me so now i'm just going to flip it over and i'm going to glue down this free end over here just like so and hold that part down until that glue sets up okay so now this side is set up let's bring it and i'm trying to keep it as straight as possible this up here is going to be like the top of our our basket handle okay so i'm trying to keep this as straight as i can so let's bring this over and I'm going to put just a little bit of glue right here just to hold it in place because what we're going to do is we're going to start wrapping this around the bottom, okay? And it's going to get tricky. I didn't know if I should start up here or start at the bottom, but you're going to have to use glue pretty much all the way down just to tack everything in place to stop the rope from sliding up and down the wreath frame, okay? And basically all that we're going to be doing now is just bringing this around and wrapping it around. I'm trying to not pull it tight because then that'll warp the wreath frame. But see, I'm just putting some glue here. Oh, don't let it roll around. And then just bringing this over. And I'm just going to hold that there until that glue sets up. And I'm just going to wrap it around. Just like I did here. Flip it over. Put some glue on the back. And I'm going to do that all the way down. Now, like I said, once this starts curving down here, it's going to be kind of a pain in the tush. To keep it from all sliding down, that's where you're really going to have to use hot glue to keep everything in place. But once I kind of get down to here, I'll come back and I'll show you kind of how I'm dealing with that. But let me just wrap this around a couple times and work my way down and I'll be back. 
Okay, so I'm working my way down. I'm on pack number two of the rope, okay? So now as you can see, now we're starting to curve down. And what I'm doing here is just bring it around. All right, stop. It's like when I'm trying to do something, it's like things just start getting on my daggone nerves. Now you need to kind of try to keep your rope pressed up against the other ones that have already been glued down. Of course, so what I've been doing, see I'm just holding out with this finger, then putting the glue on the side of this and also here, and then wrapping it around and trying my best to just hold it down and press it up against the other one that's already been glued down just to keep it as snug as possible, okay? All right. So that's what I've been doing. And I'm just gonna continue to work my way down. Just make sure you put glue here, glue on the bottom. Just trying to keep these edges just as tightly compacted as possible. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so I'm on package of rope number four, okay? Four so far. Now, as you can see down here, it looks kind of flat on the bottom, right? Like a basket should look flat. Now, if I would have followed like the actual contours of the wreath frame, it would have been rounded. And a basket should be rounded because it won't set up. And I need to trim this right here. But anyway, what I did basically is as I got down here to the bottom of the frame, where it really started to curve around, I just glued the rope to the rope in front of it and just kept wrapping it that way for like two or three wraps. And that made this flat bottom here. I need to trim this here in a minute. I'll do that when I'm done. And that made it flat. And then I just took some hot glue and I really just tried to reinforce it. Dadgum it. I tried to reinforce it here and here <laughs> just so that the rope is really hanging on to itself and it's not going to fall down. Now, if you want to, you can take a piece of felt, a nice big piece of brown felt and cut it out to this shape here and then just glue the felt on the back and then that'll hold everything together even more. But um, I think it's pretty good the way it is. Now what I've done is let's start on the handle. So I just glued my rope. I started it again down here. And the only thing that I'm doing is I'm just gonna start wrapping it around like so just to make the handle and I'll just put a spot of glue on it here and there. I'm not going to glue it every single wrap because then that is, that's a little excessive. <laughs> and just wrap around. Now, when we get up here, because this is kind of like at a point, it's going to get a little tricky. And I'm going to show you how I'm going to deal with that once they get up there. But I'm just going to wrap the handle like so. And then once I'm at the end of my rope as it is. But once I get to the end of this rope, I will glue that end down. And I don't think I'm going to make it up to the point with this piece. I really don't. So let me get done with this and I'll show you what we'll do up here. Okay, package of rope number five. And we're coming up around the, the sharp point of our egg. Oh my gosh, I've got pieces of ribbon everywhere. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is bring it around like so. Then let's pull this through. I'm trying to find the end of the rope once again bring it up, and then I'm gonna take the end of the rope and just bring it through, and we're only gonna wrap around this outside ring, okay? Just that outside ring, then bring it around. Try it again, just around that outside ring. Because see, what that's doing is it's covering this outer ring here without adding a whole lot of excess bulk down here and you're just going to have to squish the rope tightly together so that you don't see the wreath frame oh my gosh i got glue on my finger again anyway just bring it up and then bring the end just around the outer one and you're going to do that until you make it around this really sharp and i think i'm going to do it one more time stop Let's do this one more time. And just really squish it together. Oh, wait. Did I do something wrong? I think I did. <laughs> All right. I brought it up right there. And what I should have done is just brought it around that one right there. I'm sorry. I have made a boo-boo. All right. Now we're just going to continue. Just kind of squish it together. Squish it, squish it. Really squish it. And then we're going to continue wrapping. Okay. Push it together and then at the end of this i will open up pack of rope number six and then we will just continue on around here
I have made a bow. This is my easy no tie bow. And I made this with the Dollar Tree Easter ribbon. I only used uh, one roll of ribbon. I've still got like a whole lot left, right? So this is my easy no tie bow. Y'all have seen me make this bow a gazillion times before. I want to have a link to that video where I slow it down, show you how to make it. And we'll have that in the description box and also pin a comment. So look down there for that. But anyway, I want to go ahead and stick this bow on here so I can kind of see like where I want the flowers to be. And right here, I kind of goofed on the um on the rope a little bit so i'm gonna put it right there and the good thing with this bow is is it looks good flat just like that or you can you can really fluff these out if you want to you don't have to but um it looks good either way so i think with this particular thing i'm just going to leave the bow kind of flat now with all of the wrapping the rope around this bottom part, basically what you have done in essence is created a pocket in which to put flowers. So you could put flowers down here in between the front part of the rope and the back part of the rope. And you don't have to glue them down if you don't want to, because then that allows you the ability to just switch them out whenever you want to. So I have some pink and purple here. I wish I had some yellow, but it's okay. My bow here has got a lot of yellow in it. So I'm just going to cut some of these flowers as soon as I can find my wire cutters and we'll just stick them down in here and see how that looks. So I'm just cutting these with my wire cutters. A lot of people ask me, where do you get your wire cutters? Baby, th these are just wire cutters. <laughs> you know, you can get them at um, any hardware store, Walmart. This is Stanley Brands. They're a really good brand. These particular wire cutters came from Walmart. Anyway, like I said, I'm just cutting pieces off i'm sticking them to my glue gun and i'm melting them um <laughs> but you could just stick it down there like i said you don't have to glue them in stick it down in there and then you can switch it out now if you want to change your bow too because this took a lot of work to do okay it was pretty time consuming now if you don't want to leave this bow on here you can of course just fasten a piece of ribbon or a piece of wire to the back of your bow and just tie it on there. You don't have to glue it down if you don't want to commit to that particular type of bow. But anyway, let me just cram these flowers down in there and see how that looks. And I'll be back in a minute. All right, there we go. I think that looks pretty daggone cute. Wish I had some little yellow flowers to stick in there, but you know what? It is what it is. But um, there we go. I also wish I had like a little butterfly to maybe stick on there, but you know, it, it could be too much. You don't want to put too much on here and junk it up. You don't want to take away from the fact that, you know, this is a little basket, okay? So I think I'm just going to leave it at that. But anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you would, please give it a thumbs up, click subscribe, check me out on other forms of social media, the links to all of which will be in the description box down below, and I will see y'all next time. Bye.